Wagwan is that guy. Yes, it's not Nation, and I'm doing this here, reviewing some subscribers' dreadlocks that have sent in their content over on reddit.com slash r slash not nation. And this is the community on the internet. It's a big forum where free formers alike will come through, share their photos, share their pictures, ask their questions, share their videos is what I meant to say. And essentially, um, it's probably the biggest group of free form dreadheads on Reddit. And I would love for you guys to join us over there. So there's a link in the description, uh, probably up here somewhere as well, uh, for you guys to join that community. And if you've never heard of Reddit, get out from underneath the rock that you live upon and join us. It is the best way to get your locks featured here on this YouTube channel. This review was pretty remarkable. We got some dreadheads from all around the world showcasing their locks. Enjoy the video and uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about uh, freeform dreads. Yeah, we're looking at three months in, this dude's third set of locks started from an afro. He was growing for a little over a year, 50 to 60 locks. The top formed very slowly. The front isn't forming at all. Trying to have patience. Excited to see how they turn out in the next few years. Third set of locks. So those 50 to 60 locks are definitely going to dwindle down as your locks thicken up. And it's very normal for the front to not form at all. The front is actually the slowest in free forming and maturing of the locks the back of your head being the quickest so you're doing the right thing by just staying patient you don't have to try to stay patient just be patient it's really that simple and i feel like your locks are coming in uh, super fantastic at this point already i can already see that the locks are dwindling down starting to combine congo up and the dread fro is looking strong. So essentially, all you gotta do is wait it out. You know, keep on using that cold water, organic shampoo, and you know, these are gonna be blessed. These are coming in at eight to nine months free form. His first post on Not Nation, appreciate you stopping by. Definitely loving the texture and the, char the charisma of these locks. Now I'm a big fan of not seeing any scalp being shown on one's head. That is the true difference between freeform locks versus manicured locks is that we have this different preference when it comes down to scalp being shown. Um, of course, when we don't allow our scalp to be shown, it allows for more Congos to happen, thicker and stronger roots. And these, uh, these, uh, these being bomb. These looking real bomb. Uh, eight to nine months in. So he's at that mark where they're just really starting to mature and take form. And, you know, you're at eight months now. Let's see you at eight years, brother. And these are going to be completely different once again. 907 in the house. First set of locks throwback to 2019. I remember these with that bleach tips. Pretty sick. The headband flex, the bandana flex. And starting from the twisted locks as well. Uh, now we know Ron is on a complete freeform journey up with his second set of locks looking much different than these ones. And this is a current video of his freeform dreads. Personally, I find this lock set a lot better because there's no bleach. And I'm truly amazed at how quick his hair matures into freeform dreads. And it's important to note that most of us growing dreadlocks are not going to have just one set along our journey. Journeys are often comprised of two, three, sometimes four sets of locks. And it's a beautiful thing because on each set of locks, our journey continually teaches us new lessons, knowledge, and wisdoms about the lock game and ourselves. And he did bless us with some photos of his baby's dreads at eight months. 
Now these looking pretty dope. I see they look kind of like they were twisted at some point. Kid's hair is already pretty long. These looking like twists. But as they've been growing and maturing, yeah, check out that length. They're all the way down his back already. Um, you can see how they've been embracing that frizzy life, allowing them to kind of take on their own manipulation, their own growth, their own maturity. The, uh, the tips of his locks looking more on the curly side. And uh, definitely this kid is of mixed race. He's black and white. So his hair texture is going to fall not so much on the straighter side, but not on the extreme kinkier side. Definitely in that type 3. Meaning a lot of frizzy hair during the process of these locks coming into play. But nonetheless, we can see that it, it is working. And here is the shrinking stage, definitely showing how much the locks have kind of sucked up into themselves, really adding that strength and formation. And I must say, Ron, your kid looks identical to you. You know, he's looking happy with the locks. I'm happy to see that children of today's generation don't have to face as much stigma regarding having free form locks because i definitely know when i was a kid at this age i didn't see no no other youths running around with free form locks like this so you know you're definitely helping change the game for future generations to come by teaching your kid this awareness with dreadlocks at such a young age giving wicks a go now wicks are when you combine your traditional locks with a crochet hook to achieve thicker dreads. Now, once this is done, a lot less maintenance is needed opposed to having to get your shit retwisted every two months or every month or whatever. People with wicks will tend to go back at least every six months to a year to get them touched up. Uh, some people with wicks like to have the afro new growth while others like to have it rubber banded right down to the roots showing that separation of the scalp these looking like there was some bleach some copper tone put in here and if you look carefully you can kind of see the shape of his locks before the crochet hook he combined his dreads with a crochet with a crochet needle about four months ago and just rocking them out um, the cool thing about wicks is that yes it does create thicker locks it allows for your roots to come in thicker if you decide to leave your roots to grow in naturally after you combine your locks i can't really say the same if you are adding rubber bands to your roots and getting them crocheted again at the roots i think that would kind of be weakening them once again but you know doing the one-time combination with the crochet hook and then leaving them is ideally the best way to go when growing wicks i find but i mean everyone's different that's just my perspective on the game now these looking fire his shirt says love and pineapples and his locks look at the flat back here that's got to be at least four inches wide congoed up with about five locks or so now the tips look in copper tone but i wouldn't imagine that these were put together with uh, bleach or any sort of dyeing agent looks like a natural sun bleach going on there you can see some of the frizzy hair going on the dread balls that do exist on this type for hair and these are just fantastic um, they're in that stage where they're starting to drop even though this one's still kind of standing up this one's standing to the side but once these start to drop and gain even more length, it's a whole nother journey ahead of this man. And they are just going to keep growing more OG as time passes on. This yogi devoted nine months wake up frizzball. Love the entire journey. So many more years to go. Damn, nine months in. 
again at that stage where the shrinkage has occurred the maturity has really settled in and i would say that these have now really uh, become locks the key has been put in and turned and, and locked in the mechanism now all they have to do is keep on being patient with that growth and allow them to lengthen that's really that's all that's left in this lock journey even though this is a type 2 type 1 hair look at the scalp we see no separation no parts we even see some webbing happening between locks informing us that you know these dreadlocks still want to congo up with one another separation is um i wouldn't say it's optimal but it is definitely um up to your preference you don't have to separate but if it is bothering you in any way then by by all means don't feel um stuck or locked into keeping your hair in one way separation is okay if you need to do it just do it later if you can and of course he is growing the big up beard as well now these are one year freeform dreads on a type one hair a lot of frizzies going in looks like he actually dyed his hair black as well at some point um, look at the tips very curly and loose but the mane of the locks is really locked in they are you know not to say stiff but they are definitely of form of that free form so over the years now, these locks are definitely going to get longer. The frizzy hair will probably stay about the same, but with a lot of potential of these uh, loose hairs becoming new dreads in the future. Uh, with freeform locks, um, you know, we don't take in loose hair with a crochet hook or rubber bands or anything like that. We just kind of let them be and let them do their own thing. Because uh, more times than not, they will form into... Now, uh, he posted here two years ago about people making fun of his semi-freeform locks and that I was considering cutting them. Here's an update. Uh, I'm happy you never cut them because these came out fantastic. Very clean. Doesn't look like to be any buildup. No scarring in the locks whatsoever. These are almost like picture perfect. You couldn't have asked for better locks from anywhere. So Jaw has blessed you with a, a really good crown here. Um, you know, you're at that shoulder length, so they're getting pretty lengthy by all means, especially just after two years of growth. And I can and I wish you continued luck on this journey. Some photos after a detox. Now these look like they might have been separated a little bit along the way, but we also can see that they have, they have been congoed up along the way as well. A lot of these locks have, have gone from being two into one, two here into one, a lot of the same thing going on here. The ends looking extremely sun bleached. That is a really cool achievement. It looks like his hair color is naturally like a lighter brown to begin with. So that's gonna be um, a lot more motivation for the sun to change the color of his tips. So very cool set of locks here. You can see the frizzy hair on that new growth being embraced, no big deal. And the tips of his locks have actually been left to allow curlies to happen here. Way better than having blunted tips. Very cool. Looks like the cowlick of his hair growth pattern is right here. And, you know, he's got a lot of hair. So, you know, keep the journey going strong. Two months free form on a type one hair. Now, his first set he had five years was natural, but not free form. I've always envied the randomness of true free form locks from the get go. So let's go. And at this part of his journey, it looks like they have shrunken and become quite clumpy, which is a good thing because now it's a good base for his locks to grow out with some length. 
and it takes a while to even get to this point and you've gotten there in two months so it's like your hair is really wanting to free form and lock up on its own really cool to see you actually kind of have like a curly hair texture would explain why your hair wants to do this so naturally and I'm happy you finally get to enjoy um, the randomness of your locks growing the way they want to grow so big ups on the journey and keep them going Gulf Coast free forms crazy kind of like the last guy where they're like they're clumpier and kind of um, you know very very loose frizzy hair because of his type 1 and you know these will help the locks form together in the long run and I'm happy to see that it is working um, man's got blonde hair so I don't know if the Sun's gonna bleach them as much as somebody with like a brown hair hair color but I do appreciate the way these locks are coming in all kinky. Got a lot, a lot of loose hairs popping out on different sides. And some hair that isn't locking up at all. Some frizzy hair. But, but I kind of take that back because this frizzy hair is locking together. Now I do notice man does have a thinner patch of hair on the crown of his head. Which is quite fine. Just allow your locks to keep growing longer and longer. And that's the best you can really do with that. Uh, my brother is kind of in that same situation. And his locks look fantastic as well. And from the front, it's really neat because you kind of can't even tell that he's got locks. Because the bangs are locking last. As I've mentioned earlier in this video, how the frontal lobe will always lock last on the entire head. But with some more length to these locks, I feel like you're going to enjoy this journey more and more. So big ups from the Gulf Coast. Trust the process of the free form. Now these are immaculate. Immaculate dreadlocks. I'm loving the way that they're different lengths. Some are short by the shoulders. Some are long by mid back. And then some are like a third of the way down on his back. Um, now he's got naturally blunted tips No curly ends on these and A lot of his locks have Congo together from two into one. I Don't see many three locks into one But two to one is a pretty good and common uh, Congo ratio But once they lock up like that, they still have the opportunity to Congo again so keep an eye out for your hair that wants to do that in some areas of your dreadlocks after six months of daily palm rolling so I wouldn't recommend to palm roll that much uh, if at all um, especially every day for six months is kind of too much because you are at risk of thinning out your locks and bursting locks off of your head um, because of the friction between your heat, the heat from your hands going through your hair. So I hope at this point, dude is not palm rolling at all anymore. You definitely don't need to do it anymore. And I feel like palm rolling will also deter Congos to happen. So essentially by doing that technique, you might be thinning out your roots and not allowing them to want to thicken up and strengthen up as they naturally want to. So I would recommend uh, trying to let these come together a bit more on their own and stop with the maintenance. But big ups on the journey and I appreciate you stopping. I was told this belongs here. He's 10 and still running. That is definitely a Hungarian pulley. Isaac the pulley long lost brother of Ziggy the Pooley. And it's crazy to me how similar these breeds of dogs always look to each other. I mean, this is an exact replica of Ziggy. Um, maybe his, this guy's eyes are a bit further apart. He's definitely got bigger chompers than Ziggy. But, you know, the hair shows, you know, the hair is dreadlocks. And... I, I do appreciate dogs that are non-hypoallergenic. 
because they grow hair and not fur. And essentially any animal that grows hair and not fur has the opportunity for their hair to lock up into dreads. And it is an amazing spectacle. Two and a half years. These are doing what they want to do. I think he flipped this one forward for the photo. This one's standing straight up. This one thick as a clump back here. And naturally blunted. You can see some loose hairs that are curling still off the ends of the locks. Salt and pepper with the gray look. Amazing to see older generations embracing the freeforms as well. Big ups. Three months of freeforms. Got a pretty good head start here. Now I would recommend to allow the sides to grow in as well. Uh, so you can get a full head of freeform locks. Uh, your, hair's, your hair's looking mighty clean. No debris, no buildup, no dandruff. Uh, looking good. You got a great set of dreads on your head already. Natty style of three months again. So very similar to the last photo. It's the same guy actually. Uh, but now the sides are growing in here as well. A lot thinner and smaller locks, but they will join together. Looks much better with the full head opposed to the high top only. And this is the back of his locks. You know, very much looks like Dragon Ball Z. Like, these locks are phenomenal, I just gotta say. Six month anniversary on the Freeforms. Loving the shape that these are coming in as well. They're almost like square at some sections. Some are cylindrical, some are triangles. Some are ribbons, like some are Congoed. Like these are really, really unique set of locks. And bonus points because they're coming in on a female. So love, love seeing the sisters embracing the freeform journey as well. Two and a half years. Now these are just insane. Reminds me of how the weekend's hair was coming in. Kind of like one big lock right at the front. Massive Congo here. These are just massive. And he's got the high top as well. Very cool. I'm interested. To, I'm very interested to see where this front Congo goes. Now I know Freeform Prophet had his whole head Congo up like that. Uh, and he separated it like five, six years down the road. And now his locks fall down. So... You know, this man can have some fun growing that Congo straight up. And he can always separate it down the road and he will still have locks. So it's definitely, it, it is, it is a great, that is a great set of locks, I must say. Big ups on that journey. And lastly, here we have going the semi free form route. Meaning he must have separated his locks at some point. I don't see much maintenance done by the roots of any sort. Uh, but these locks are being fire. Like, you know, these are flames. The locks have been connected. These are not even locks, they're keys. These are great. These are fantastic. 4,800 members here on reddit.com slash r slash not nation. Let's get, that to, let's get this to 5,000 members before Christmas. So if you haven't already, come and join the community and submit some photos and or videos. And make sure that that is your chance to get into the next Dreadlock review. So with that being said, that's the end of today's video. Have a fantastic day. Spread some love. Be positive, be productive, and stay strong on your journey. Remember that lock commitment is a thing and we gotta keep on doing what we can do to stay committed on these dreadlock journeys. And we also gotta stay motivated to continue growing our hair, prospering our journeys, and spreading the word about freeform locks to other people so that they too can have a chance to find themselves, have a chance to understand their roots, and a chance to embrace oneself at their fullest potential, simply by letting our hair form freely. It's a beautiful thing. 
So until next time, peace out, one love, stay happy and natty, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm gone. Adios.